stage, a banana plant lives from four to five years. However, its trunk-like structure, more commonly known as the pseudostem, can only bear fruit once in its lifetime. After fruiting, it dies and a new stem grows from the plant. The old stem is then burned and wasted. 1,000 tons of fruit generates approximately 3,000 tons of waste. In 2019, Pakistan produced 135,660 tons of bananas, which led to thrice as much waste. Traditionally, this waste is burned, generating carbon fumes that are harmful to the environment. Could this waste be managed better and utilized without causing environmental harm? Dr. S. Ibrahim Abulu of Sindh Agriculture University's Department of Soil Science has found a solution. Thanks to Dr. Abulu, banana waste is being utilized to produce fiber for the first time in Sindh. During his PhD, he observed how other countries handled waste from banana plants and brought this practice home. So, when you see the waste of banana, we have tried this for the first time in the history. I would say, Alhamdulillah, we have started our work here. So, I have done my own masters, I have done my banana. And when I went to PhD, I have visited the country in Bangladesh. I have seen that people were taking the waste from this, after cutting the fruit, they were processing it and putting a lot of things in it. We call it value addition or value added by-products. So, this is one of the fiber from this, which we have done for the new thing. So, this is one of the waste of this waste. This waste of this waste is purely degradable, it is purely decomposable. It is purely decomposable, it is purely decomposable. It's a revolution in textile. Because when I have mentioned in other countries, like Bangladesh, Philippines, Malaysia, India, they are earning millions of rupees from this waste. Banana stems are sliced down in sheaths. High quality raw fiber is extracted from them and is further refined for use in the production of paper, hardboard, sheets, rugs and much more. Initially, this machinery was imported but now the same technology can be produced locally, which has lowered the cost of this process. This is also now attracting more farmers and various industries. Zara University of Tandu Jam, they have introduced it to their logo. 20-25 farmers have a cluster of farmers who say that we are going to take the machine and take the machine. We are saying that we are going to give the machine at a subsidized rate to the farmers. अगर मैंने ये मशीन एक बनाई को डेढ़ लाख की, अगर हम दस बनाते हैं तो सत्तर हजार की बन जाती है, असी हजार की, तो हम इसकी कॉस्ट जो है रिड्यूस करें, जितना हम बल्क में बनाएंगे, तो उसकी जो कॉस्ट रिड्यूस होगी और ये ये जो है ज्यादा एवाल होगी, तो इंशाल्लाह हम ये देख रहे हैं कि अभी ल which makes it a great alternative to synthetic fiber, the production of which tends to be carbon intensive. Adapting this practice on an industrial level would not only reduce carbon emissions, but will also protect our environment from the ramifications of fast fashion. <laughs>